Hi everybody, um, it's Steph here. Today what we're going to do is show you um, how to service the Schaefer Snorkel Pen for Men. Now what I've actually done, I've actually done some of the procedure already to try and make it um, as quick as possible. So what we've actually done is removed the barrel from the section there. In some cases it may need a little bit of heat um, and your section pliers to actually remove it but this one came off nice and uh, nice and easy and now we need to remove this silver tube here um, and also remove the end the end knob here now what we do is we get a screwdriver which is long insert it into the barrel like so and just gently gently feel for the screw in the end of the knob it's a little bit on the fiddly side but there we go there we have it and what we do we simply undo that pop that to one side and as you can see the knob just simply comes off like so now if we turn it over like so oh there we go the the uh, spring comes off or has come out for us and there you can see the screw we have there now what we need to do is just simply take this silver tube out like so and that just simply pushes out like so now if we come to the to the section here now now before I actually do anything what I've actually done you won't be able to see it because I've marked it well literally with a needle I've actually marked the connector here um, in alignment with this particular um, stood here to the top of the if you like the clutch ring which aligns with the feed and the snorkel tube to the top there so it's all in alignment at the moment and I've marked it um, I mean I, don't, I think it's a little bit pointless trying to show you but I've marked it with a needle so I know basically that they're all aligned and then what we simply do is just simply pull out the the snorkel with the sat protector like so now to remove the snorkel here it's it's actually in a little um, plastic or rubber plug if you like inside there now what we need to do all these sat protectors um, are generally they're actually crimped now what I've already done again to save time I've actually opened the crimps up lightly now you've got to be very careful because this particular metal here is very thin and it's easily distorted if you're not actually careful but i'm hoping you can actually see the crimps are actually in between the guides and what we've actually done is opened them up there so we can take out the the snorkel snorkel tube now to take this tube out here what you do you simply heat up this particular area here with well I, I do it with a hair dryer and then grip the snorkel tube and generally just wiggle it out until it actually simply pulls out now in a lot of cases what you'll find is that the sack inside um, has deteriorated it's solidified um, and what you need to do in some cases actually push this out from this particular end here now what we can do here if you like as I say if you find that it doesn't come out by heating this particular section and the the rubber plug and by pulling it out it won't come out it's a little bit a um, little bit stubborn then what you need to do is get a a rod if you like and again let's assume at this particular point because I've actually removed it but the sack in this particular one was solidified and what I simply did is push this particular rod inside um, the sap protector and what I tend to do is make sure I try and align it inside because inside what you have here is the continuation of the the snorkel tube inside the the rubber plug and if you if you're not careful you may well you may break that or destroy it so what I tend to do again is if I just do it again is just feel for it and just gently as I'm doing it just twist it round and I'm actually um, pushing if you like as if I can to the edges of the rubber plug inside okay so there we go nice and slowly just be a bit gentle there's no hurry okay and there you go and what I'm doing is just simply 
pushing like so okay now there we have it so there's the plug to the end um, and as I say what you've got to be careful of is this particularly you can see the snorkel this little plastic piece at the end you don't want to break that as you can see hopefully we've already cleaned um, the nipple there that's nice and clean ready for a new sack um, to be fitted what you also need to do at this point is actually remove all the remnants of the old sack inside this protector um, this particular one again was solidified as they do they stick to the sides um, and what you can generally use um, is a dental pick just to scrape it off um, some some people actually use a drill bit which in the, which is in the right diameter um, of the tube and what they do is they turn it and it actually removes removes the sack from inside as I say I tend to use a dental pick being very careful because as I say it's quite thin this particular protector but again what you need to do is remove any remnants we've cleaned it with a little wire brush so that is nice and clean and ready for a new sack uh, to be installed now if we come now to the the section here now what Schaefer did they used a and some sort of an adhesive um, to actually adhere this particular connector to to the shell so you can actually buy a tool but they're very easily easily made I've actually made this particular tool um, and it actually helps to remove uh, remove the connector there so what we do incidentally before you do this um, you may find it find it's actually quite difficult to to remove this particular connector so you can actually immerse this particular sort of section to the bottom here in hot water that hopefully will release some of the um, adhesive or whatever they used um, inside there and once you've done that as I say I've actually already done this I've already cleaned it to make it um, a little bit quicker if you like so what I've done I've actually installed my little tool inside the connector and very gently we turn it to to remove the connector and as you can see as well as we're turning it and removing it you can see that the the clutch ring is also come off as well so if we just remove the clutch ring there and we'll pop that to one side and there you have it there's the connector that we've actually removed so we take out our little tool and if I just show you the insides there as I say I've already done this I've already dismantled it what you'll find there's a lot of adhesive or remnants of it and you need to clean you need to clean all that off then what we need to do is get our little dent dental pick here and I'm hoping you can see inside there's a, a metal um, if you like a retaining washer so what we need to do is remove that washer oops don't lose it for whatever otherwise you'll be in trouble so there's the the metal washer inside again what we have now is a rubber a rubber seal inside there and again what we need to do is remove the rubber seal okay so that's the old seal we've actually got new ones for this one so what we can actually do we can actually discard that particular seal because we won't be using it the next thing we need to do is actually remove the feed by pushing it from the top and removing it out from the back here now again you may find it's a little bit difficult so at this point um, a little bit of soaking again will not go amiss but as before I've already done this to try and keep it try and keep it short I've already soaked it I've already cleaned it all I use is this little this is a hard rubber I actually use this for my Anotto pens but it helps to actually well it doesn't actually mark doesn't actually mark the uh, the feed inside so as you can see I've actually pushed that through there and there we go so there's the feed 
from inside from inside the hood so what we do is pop, pop the feed there and again if I can just show you you may actually notice inside there there's actually two little ridges which well it, it helps um, the feed to actually align with with the nib okay so let's give you a show there so there we have it ladies and gentlemen so what we've done there we've dismantled the whole pen so at this point what we need to do now is actually put a new sack onto the the rubber the rubber section here to the bottom of the um, just bear with me a second to the bottom of the snorkel and actually what I'll do I'll actually do that while while we're talking in fact if I can just uh, sorry I think I've lost the new sack somewhere nope here it is so here's the new sack this sack is the it's actually a number 17 and a half um, when you actually cut it you need to cut it well the, the some people state you need to cut it at 52.4 millimeters um, I'm sure the well percentage the 0.4 I don't know if it'll make a great deal of difference but what I tend to do I tend to align them um, and cut them how I feel is is correct so we've already cut this up there um, what I've actually got here is a little my sack spreader which we'll do there and what I do at this point oh dear, is don't you just love it when everything goes smoothly we bring on the shellac which is stuck and what we do we apply a little bead a little bead there and turn the turn the snorkel tube as we're applying it being very careful that you don't apply any shellac to the bottom there otherwise you're going to have problems now again a little bit difficult because I'm working over the camera but let's give it a go there we go and at this point what I like to do is give it a little bit of a twirl so it's fully covered slightly adjust it and there we have it so what we've done we've uh, now installed a new sack um, onto the rubber section of the uh, of the snorkel tube now what we'll do we'll put that to one side we'll let that dry now at this point what I'm actually going to do is I'm going away now I'm going to polish these particular sections of the pen so that they're ready to assemble. Okay, so what we need to do now is remove the o-ring from the bottom of the barrel. You can see inside there um, it has this o-ring which in this particular case is white which indicates that um, it's the original o-ring. So again what we need to do is bring on our little um, pick here and being very careful all we need to do is apply that into a little recess there and I'm hoping you can see it there we go so there's the old o-ring we can actually discard that because we're going to be replacing it now what I'm hoping you can actually see is where the o-ring actually sits there's actually um, a little recess inside inside the barrel there and what we'll be doing now is putting in the new o-ring so it's going to be a little bit fiddly so what we'll do we'll try and show you how we do that <coughs> just present it to the to the end of the barrel first of all now what I've actually done is I've actually greased this particular o-ring so it's already been greased and what we need to do it's a little bit on the fiddly side but we just slowly feed it into the recess as we're doing like this and as you can see I'm using a, a toothpick as I say a little bit on the fiddly side but that one's gone a little bit too far but if we just work it up there 
and I think we're not far done now. Just present that little bit there and just pop it into place like so. Okay, so I'm hoping you can actually see that. Incidentally, when you actually take out the old the old O-ring, make sure that particular recess is uh, is clean. Just take your toothpick and clean out any dirt or anything that might be blocking or anything inside the little recess and make sure it's nice and clean. Again, as we said, um, <coughs> excuse me, lightly grease the old the new O-ring and as you've just seen there, just work it into the recess. Another important thing that we need to do, I've already done it, you can see it's got an air hole here which we need to clean out. Um, just clean out that air hole and from the inside make sure again there's any dirt there, remove any dirt and make sure it's nice and clean. So that's how we replace the old Okay, so now we need to reassemble the pen. So I start with the plunger tube and then get the screw and then pop the screw into the plunger tube like so and just give it a shake and you'll see that the screw actually pops out to the end there. Now what we need to do at this particular point is bring on a little bit of silicon grease and just very lightly just coat this particular tube with silicone grease. Okay, so I'll wipe off any excess. Now what I actually do is get the screwdriver and present it to the screw to the bottom so it grips like so. Now there we have it. And what we do here is insert the tube down through the barrel and gently push it up through the end of the barrel there. At this point we'll get the the knob to the end of the barrel there. Incidentally there's a little washer inside um, this particular um, knob here which at most times do not need to be replaced. They, normally they're, uh, they're more than adequate so we present that to the end there and at this point we just nice and easily hand tight as far as it go and there we go it just seems to be going and there we go and that's nice and hand tight so you can see now that we've screwed the knob to the end of the barrel there and that comes out nice and easily okay so what we've done we've installed the knob to the end there so once um, you've put the knob back on just test it against your tongue which I've just done and that works fine so that's all ready to go so the next thing we do <coughs> excuse me is we need to put all the feed and the uh, the nib back together before I actually do that because I've actually cleaned it um, sometimes you may find that you've got a little bit of dirt inside um, between the tines so what I like to do is use my um, my brass shim and just present it to the breather hole like so and you can see what we do is we push that through the tines and that will clean out any dirt that's inside the tines so we get the the feed and we present the feed make sure it's all aligned get my little dowel and just pop it into place there and just let's just hold it and just check yep yeah, that's fine that's all aligned the next thing that we need to to pop into the the hood is our new rubber washer which is here now what I've actually done I've actually greased it on the outside and on the very edges um, on the inside as well now be very careful that you actually just put the grease on the edges only because if you have any yeast, any sorry any grease into the hole there once you present the snorkel tube you may get grease inside the snorkel tube which we don't want so I've been very careful 
I'm hoping you can maybe see that. What I've done is just simply greased around the edges only. So let's pop that into place there. Oops, a daisy. I'll just simply drop, drop my dowel. So what I do now is just use the dowel just to press it into place like so. Okay, and uh, I'm not too sure if you can actually see that. So there we have the new, the new washer. At this point, what we do, we've got the the metal washer to the top there. So that gets presented to the top. And again, I'm hoping you can actually see that. At this point now, what I actually do is pop on the the clutch ring that sits into the the three little recesses there. And last but not least, we now need to put on the connector. Now, first of all, I bring on my homemade tool again and pop it pop the connector onto the top there. Now what I actually do, we need to bring on the, the shellac and give the connector a coat of shellac. Okay, so that looks, that looks fine. We'll pop that to one side. Now, I don't know if you've actually noticed, but just to make it a little bit clearer for you, I've actually marked it in white there where the where it actually aligns. So at this point now, we present that to the hood, like so. And you can see the clutch has just come out there, so that'll be okay in a moment if we just pop the hood back on. But as it turns, we'll push it into place there, like that, and push that into place. And then just keep on turning until... What we need to do is align the white line with the top stud there. Okay, so as, I, as you saw in the earlier part of the, the video, you need to, to mark it so that... When we put the snorkel in in a moment, the snorkel will align to the top of the nib there. So, as I say, I've made, it, I made a little line so you can actually see what I mean. We've aligned it with that top stud there. So, I can now remove my tool. Bring on the snorkel tube. And, <coughs> excuse me. Now, what I'm going to do now, again... I'm just going to use a bit of silicone grease on my finger and just very lightly just give it a light coating of silicone grease. Okay, now I'll just wipe my finger. And at this point what we need to do is again align the snorkel so it sits nicely to the top there and present the snorkel tube through the middle in the inside sorry and one thing I've actually forgotten to do which we need to do which is important is apply apply some grease to the guides on the sack protector okay so just a little bit of grease there I'll just pop that down for a moment while I wipe my fingers. Now, if we carry on pushing the snorkel, I'll just give it a couple of pushes so that the grease covers the ring inside. And I'm hoping you can actually see there, you can actually see now that the snorkel is aligned with the top. So if we actually draw that down like so, everything is nicely aligned so we push that in and out like so and in theory that's how the snorkel actually will be working 
but as you can see we've aligned everything and if we pop that down like so everything everything is aligned so everything's fine there now last but not least if we bring on the barrel again present the the spring into the barrel and at this point some people suggest that you just simply screw um, the hood into the barrel you can do that if you wish um, personally what I like to do is apply a little bit of sealant now what I've actually got here is my homemade rosin sealant um, and what I've actually done I've heated it up slightly and what it gives us is this um, well it's, it's, like, it's like a consistency of treacle and what I like to do again is just coat the thread there with some of this rosin sealant okay as I say what I've done I've heated it up slightly so it gives me a nice sort of treacly a treacle consistency so all we're using is just little little dabs of it okay and that should be that should be fine so we'll pop that to one side we'll move that to one side and then what we'll do now is present the barrel um, to the pen and what we need to do is just extend the um, the snorkel tube a little bit and at this point all we do is just give it a couple of turns so it's nicely coated all the way to the top you can see we've got a little bit of the the sealant protruding so at this point just give it give it a nice wipe oops a daisy I've got grease on my fingers so things are a little bit greasy so that sealant there will make it nicely nicely airtight so as you can see now if we actually pop the knob to the bottom and turn turn the knob to the bottom there you can see the snorkel retracts into the pen like so and then to fill the pen what we'd simply do is turn the knob like so and you can see that the snorkel protrudes to the top and at that point what you do is simply put your snorkel into the ink oops, oops a daisy <laughs> put your snorkel into the ink press down onto the button to fill the pen so again if we turn you can see the snorkel retracts as it should into the, into the into the feed okay so all we need to do at this point bring on the cap which I won't cover the cap the cap is fine there's no dings etc we have the inner caps inside there but the cap is fine so that's why I've not mentioned anything regarding um, regarding the cap so there we have it ladies and gentlemen that's how I service the Schaefer pen for men um, fountain pen I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope it's been informative I hope it helps you with your pens um, don't be shy there's plenty more videos on my on my channel go and have a look at them and leave a, leave any comments you might like to leave but for now I'll just simply say bye bye now